Hello everybody. So I'm going to be doing a very quick run through of a piece of software called JPEG to RAW AI. This is a, an artificial intelligence based uh, photo utility software, which is designed to try and convert your JPEG files into RAW files. So I'm not going to do a huge rundown on what JPEG and RAW is, other than to say a RAW file um, it is basically it contains all of the information from the sensor of your camera so it contains all of the light details um, it has better dynamic range but it's also a much bigger file uh, and it needs quite often certain software to be able to understand it a JPEG file on the other hand is what we call a compressed file your photographic device has made some decisions around what information to keep and what information to get rid of in order to reduce the file size and it certainly does that but it does that at the expense of dynamic range it does that at the expense of um, some some color detail uh, and it can also introduce artifacts so this is their website at the moment and you'll see this linked uh, below in the description on the left hand side is the uh, JPEG file, on the right hand side is the RAW. So you'll see that there's a lot less dynamic range, there are artifacts as well um, compared to the, the RAW which looks much nicer. So you'll hear quite often shoot in RAW, shoot in RAW, a RAW is the best file format to shoot in. And I would agree with that, but I would say that the best camera that you have is the camera that you have on you. So if your camera that you have on you at the time doesn't shoot raw, it might be a phone, for example, I wouldn't not take the photo. I'd take it and, and you can see what you can do with it later with a bit of software like this. So what is the benefit of converting to raw? And there are a whole range of benefits as to why he would do this. You might be able to recover uh, some of the lost dynamic range, which lets you bring back shadow and highlight details. Um, you might be able to improve the color space so you can um, resolve the colors a little bit better. Uh, you might also be able to reduce any of the compression artifacts and retain fine detail. So without going too much into artificial intelligence, how the software does this is it effectively has been trained with a whole range of raw photos. So Topaz give the machine learning uh, algorithm a whole range of uh, raw photos. They then convert those to JPEG and the, soft, the algorithm looks at that JPEG and it learns to understand what the difference is between raw and JPEG and by understanding that difference it can remember uh, some of the things that change so the important thing to note with this software is that because it does quite a lot of computations you do need a supported graphics card and you'll see the list of graphics cards on their website or you can try one of the free trials to see if it works for you so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go into the JPEG to RAW interface and this is the JPEG to RAW interface. I'll go clear all just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to click on open now to open the file and in this case I have a, a photo from my Samsung camera just of a sunset down the road from my work. Um, on the left here you'll see this is the like the JPEG file on the right is the raw file so what you do generally speaking is you want to probably come out to say 50% and then move this around until you find a point of detail in the photo because to understand what changes have been made in a lot of cases it's better to uh, zoom in and so to zoom in, you can use the um, zoom icon there, or you can just change this. So I'm going to go to 200%. And now we can see the power pole over here. 
So you can see this is a, a preview photo. This is the original photo. You can adjust the brightness. Um, oh, sorry, the contrast. I oh, lie. Sorry, that's contrast. This is brightness. So you can adjust those. Um, this shouldn't have a significant impact on the overall photo. It's just so you can actually see to edit. Over on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a processing tab. So this is where we adjust the aggressiveness of what the algorithm is doing. So um, effectively, how aggressive do you want it to be in reducing JPEG artifacts? So in this case, I've set it to one, which is effectively very aggressive. Topaz wouldn't recommend to go this far because you might, might start to see unusual results, but you work your way across to, to where you're happy with. And so over here, you'll see save to. I've got that set as source folder. Prefix is there if you want to add something to the front of your file name. I don't need to in this case. So I'm going to have a suffix, in this case, converted file, for example. And so the file format is down here. You can choose between DNG, TIFF or TIFF. So I mentioned earlier that this software is fairly um, computationally heavy, which means that it uses your graphics card quite a lot or your processor to try and analyze and understand the photo to then work out what changes it needs to make. You can use a CPU with this software. And so if you go File, Preferences, you'll see that there is a processing mode. At the moment, I've got that set on GPU and I'm saying the software can use a lot of my graphics card memory. You could have this set on CPU, but note that the performance won't be nearly as good because the CPU is just not designed nearly as well for these sorts of tasks as a graphics card. So you'll do uh, well to try the software to see if your graphics card is supported and how it works on your computer. And then if it works well, go ahead and purchase it. Uh, and to that end, there is a link in my description below and a coupon. If you use that coupon, you'll get a discount on the software. So going back to this photo, even though I said don't go to 100%, just for the sake of this video I'm going to, just so you can see at an extreme level what it does to the file in terms of compared to the JPEG and RAW. So I'm happy with these settings. I'm happy for it to be DNG. So now I'm going to click on start. And now this is going to start processing the original file and using its understanding of the changes that happen to files to then convert uh, into its raw format. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a converted file. And this is a converted file where I've compared the uh, JPEG and the uh, raw file. So the conversion in this, just to clarify as to what I've done, I've put both files into Affinity Photo, which is a photo editing software, and I've applied the same changes to both of those files. So the one on the left is the JPEG file and the one on the right is the raw. The changes that I made was I reduced the exposure. That was effectively the only change to these two files. And so you see when you compare the JPEG to the raw, there just seems to be a lot more dynamic range in the raw than the JPEG and a little bit more detail as well. Um, in some of the, line, the power lines and, and those finer details. So this software is, as I mentioned, fairly good at converting JPEG to RAW. Ideally, when you use this software, you wanna do this at the start of your workflow. So before you edit, crop, adjust your photo, you wanna convert it to RAW, and then you can work on that RAW photo all the way through. And that'll get you the best performance out of the software. You can then do a whole range of other 
um, editing tasks on this photo. Uh, things like denoise has an artificial intelligence aspect. Sharpen, there is also an artificial intelligence uh, component from Topaz. And so have a look at my YouTube channel and I'll put some more photos up shortly. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more videos or be notified when I release more or visit my website.